So hello React Native developers and welcome back to the channel. I'm very excited today for this really cool animation that we have for you and it's the gradient clock. So I want to give a shout out before we get started to the app wizard 248 on Instagram who originally did this animation in Swift UI. I recommend you check out their Instagram. They have a ton of cool stuff. Today, however, we're going to be implementing this animation using, of course, React Native Skia and reanimate it as we always do to create animations that are cross-platform and work on both iOS and Android. As always, the code for this animation is in the description if you want to check it out. All right, let's get started, guys. Okay, guys, so as always, we're going to start with a tiny bit of boilerplate. If you haven't already, install React Native Skia and React Native Reanimated. Other than that, I just have a few styles just to let the canvas fill the screen. Nothing exciting or special. So to get started, let's draw a rectangle at X and Y position zero. So it starts in the top left hand corner of the screen and we'll give it a width and height to the screen's width and height so that it fills everything, as you can see with the black color. Next thing we wanna do is we wanna calculate the center of the screen, which is the width divided by two and the height divided by two, which gives us the center X and center Y. Finally, we'll create a VEC using that center X and center Y. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a sweep gradient. And within the sweep gradient, we're gonna give it the center point of the center we just calculated. We're gonna give it the colors of black and white for now, just to keep things simple. And we're gonna start at zero degrees and end at 360 degrees. Oops, a little typo there. And as you can see, we already have a pretty good looking gradient, which is really nice. So I'm gonna add a few more colors in just to smooth the transition a little bit from the black to the white gradient. And as you can see, it's a little nicer. I like that. So now to rotate, we have to give the sweep gradient an origin, which is also the center. And I want you to pay attention to the transform because it uses radiance. As you can see, math.pi flips it. Zero puts us back at the start. 0.5 is halfway in between and 1.5 is halfway in between at the top. So when we rotate, what we're going to do is we're going to go through all those values using uh, React Native Reanimated. So for our animated rotation, we're going to use a derived value. And inside here, we can specify our rotation value using rotate. And we're going to multiply math.pi by whatever the rotation is at that given time. Okay, so now how do we get it to move, right? And the way we do this is by creating use effect with no dependencies. And we're going to set the rotation value to go from 0 to 2, which is a full rotation of math.py, and give a linear easing. So if you save now, you should see a full rotation, which is really cool. We're off to a good start. And now all we need to do is make it repeat using our with repeat. So we're going to give minus 1 and false to tell it to repeat indefinitely and always go forward. For some reason now you have to restart the app. Uh, it's kind of a weird reanimated thing where sometimes it just makes you do that. But after we've reloaded and we've gone back to the gradient clock, as you can see, we get that nice full rotation and the clock looks exceedingly beautiful. Thank you React Native developers. Happy hacking and all the best.